Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of Factorio here in our step-by-step -step to Mega Base series. At the moment I'm expanding my defensive territory, so I wanted to tune in at this point because this is usually something I do off camera and you might not even be aware I have to do that. What I did here is set up another artillery station. We previously had it somewhere along these lines and it was just getting too long of a travel distance for the robots to keep daisy chaining it. So if we have a look at this now, this should protect us for a little while. I will still have to set up another station at this point somewhere. But other than that, I took care of the most important ones. Usually in the very beginning, when I set up a new station in enemy territory, I remain with the station for a little while because sometimes they are getting overwhelmed. Though I have to say for this one, I didn't really have to do anything just yet. So I think I'm just gonna make my way back. So today, I believe we are ready to set up another mega module. Let me actually make my way back to base and also take along my Buildatrons. The reason I think we're ready for the next mega module is because essentially the past hour or so, let me check, we've been producing 1600 science. And if we check all the stations, all of them are purple and no delivery problems. Also, check out the train traffic here. It is absolutely amazing. This even turned out better than I promised you. I mean, I knew once everything starts to balance, it would be working out, but this is even better than I first anticipated. I mean, we have barely any train traffic right now as the modules are running smoothly. It's just always when we make some additions, then it accumulates and it takes about half an hour or so to stop messing about. Also something that helps at the moment, we have crafted everything. So the trains aren't going into the two crafting stations. So what we're going to do is set up another mega module right here. And before I actually do that, I want to go ahead and add more Spidertrons to my builder army. I also decided to go for artillery shell range next in order to increase the radius of our artillery stations, though this is a little bit risky because it might result in a lot of stations being overrun. But I think we are at a point we can't avoid this research anymore. All right then, back we are. We are gonna set up some more Spidertrons. Now let me see, what are we gonna need? At least three, uh, no, let's do five normal builders. At the moment I have 10 though. Yeah, I think I'm also gonna set up another 10. So we have 20 Buildertrons in total. Though thinking about it, maybe we should do one expansion after another. So I'm just gonna go with five additional ones. And all I have to do is copy this over and paste it in for this guy, for instance. Gonna take my remote and make it follow one of these guys and clean the remote again. And now we can do this for four additional ones, though I always have to wait until the logistics robots delivered some more grid functionality. Hold on, I disabled personal logistics. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Now I can actually copy this in. Okay, you're also gonna follow your fellow brothers. And now, of course, that means all my robots here are getting quite busy filling these guys up. But we have five more, which is really nice. I'm also going to do the same thing with the green spiders. I'm going to add at least five more. So that would be two, then three. Uh, go there. And I'm missing the spider trons, but they should be crafted in the system eventually. For now, let's just copy this over for you and you can join your group as well. Good, I'm gonna allow the system to catch up a little bit and in the meantime we're gonna make our way over here, start taking everything apart that would be in the way otherwise. I guess first things first, this doesn't need to be a intersection. And then I guess we need to get rid of these veins here. The coal vein is a little bit of a bummer, but it has to be done. You guys come to pop up. And then I think I'm just gonna blow up the train here. And the next train can be loaded up. We're gonna blow this one up too. And this way we also got rid of them. <laughs> good times, good times. Wonderful. And now the rest we can pick up now that we got rid of all the coal. Same thing here with the copper vein. This one was almost done either way. And just like that, the copper vein is a thing of the past that leaves us with the task of taking apart this iron ore station. Wouldn't really be worth keeping that up either way. Okay, very nice. I got it cleaned up. Let's get rid of this as well. And then I basically want to free up all the space that would be inside the module. We already have the power poles inside the blueprint and they're not like the power grid necessarily. Also, I very briefly need to take this apart in order to set up a proper intersection or maybe just straight. Yeah. 
Wonderful. I think I got it in place. Let's grab our mega module blueprint. And then I guess we just have to align it with the radars. So this will be a radar on the left side that I'm orienting myself. And on the right side, we also have a radar. So we should be able to just paste this down and then hopefully everything is going to go fine. Oh, oh my gosh, I just love these moments. I wish we could do this more often. Well, I guess the more we expand, the more often we can do it. But this is looking really good. And now with five additional builder trons and also flora trons, I should be able to do a lot more. Maybe we can even complete it in just two goes. That would be absolutely phenomenal. But I want to make sure the trains don't have access yet. So I'm taking apart one single rail. And now we just uh, keep on building, I guess. Soon enough, the robots are going to get exhausted. And I will not be able to provide the proper power, but that is fine. I can already feel a difference, even though we haven't yet doubled the amount of Spider-Trons. But I'm happy, and we're even keeping up the UPS at this point. I wouldn't even be mad for losing a bunch of UPS in moments like this. And concerning UPS, a lot of people are very apocalyptic, I would say. When it comes to that subject, I mean, this is kind of a sickness of factorial players. I've been playing every game until I only have 15 FPS either way. So I'm not really sure what the fuss is all about with the UPS. I mean, it's with every game that I play that I eventually get to a point where it just doesn't run smoothly because we exaggerate. And I would say looking at my FPS and UPS so far and considering today we're going to upgrade to 2000 science packs per minute, I wouldn't draw the devil on the wall, guys. It's all going to be fine. It looks like I ran out of charge and apparently also space here for this single spider tron. So I have to make sure the robots can go back in. Yeah, check this out. Now the robots have some charge again and they start building. Okay, I think that is also something we can mitigate the more spider trons we have. Because they will have to build for a shorter amount of time before everything is done. Okay, it's now time for me to go back for the first time. Looks like we were able to build approximately half of everything. Not too shabby, but as mentioned, we eventually want to up upgrade the builder trons to be able to do it in one go. Hooray, so my guesstimation was about right. We were able to completely finish it with the second pass. I'm so happy. So we're approaching our goal much quicker than I anticipated. It's now probably time to hook up the module and let the trains in come, though. I kind of need to check. Yeah, this still seems to be okay here. We occasionally do have additional lights from the tracks before, so I might have to eliminate them. Like this guy right here needs to go. This one is good and this one is probably good too. And then right here we have two additional signals that need to go. And this one here as well. Come on. Thank you. That seems about right. Now I'm gonna hook this up and look at that. All the stations are being served immediately. That's what I like to see. Now let's just fix the tracks here and we should be seeing our trains incoming momentarily. There are already our two first copper trains. These guys were ready and the third copper train also already incoming. Very nice. We have some petroleum and we're also kickstarting the nuclear reactor right here. Nice. Yeah, this is exactly what I like to see. Are we missing anything else? These guys already delivered. And now we also had the iron trains incoming, so the module can get started. These should be all the materials. No, what are we missing here? Some coal. Lubricant has arrived. Where is the bloody coal? Where are all these guys? Hmm, let's actually get a bigger picture here. Yeah, that's what I feared. We have to wait for a couple of minutes for this to clear up again. But I'm so convinced by now by this design, I'm not worried in the slightest. By the way, I changed a little something about these tracks right here. So the trains that actually want to join this rail can go and do this a little bit earlier and not disturb the other trains. I did that with all of the modules here and that was kind of the last kink that prevented the trains from going smoothly. But yeah, there we go. Now the science packs are incoming. Did we receive the call by now? Yes, there it is. Very nice. Let's see if we already reached the 2k mark. There we go. No, still 1,600 right now. Let me quickly get an overview. We still have all the stations served. Yeah, I cannot be too impatient right now. So I think we rather make our way back or maybe while we're here, we also set up some solar arrays. It really wouldn't hurt to already have this in place and we still have all the solar panels inside the spider trons. So it would be a wasted opportunity. Okay, that was it. Time to make our way back to the crafting station. And then I guess we need to observe the situation a little bit in order 
to see whether or not we're lacking something. Right now it doesn't look like we're lacking anything so this number should theoretically go up very soon. Uh, actually we might be in some trouble here concerning the stone. So I think once I'm filled up here with my spider trons I'm just gonna go back and hook up some more stone reserves. There's quite a good stone deposit right here and then we might also need some more coal. Hmm, I'm probably gonna go for this one so we just shift the rails a little bit. This doesn't even necessarily have to be beautiful. We just go and do something like this. Make sure we go ahead and avoid this and then turn back up with the rail right there. Wonderful. Easy as that. And now we can hook this up. This should suffice for quite a bit again, especially considering our current mining productivity level. Gonna set up another ore station right here and then we just bring this back. Actually, we can go up and then down. Actually, I should make a proper entry for this rail. Yeah, that will make more sense. Good. Finish that station, rename it to load coal. And then, of course, all we have to do is hook up the station to our mines. There are already two trains arriving, that is good, but we still need to introduce them to the system right there. So two coal trains coming up and we can launch them into the network. Ah, okay, so finally the number is going up, we're up to 1.8k. We should definitely reach the 2000 packs per minute mark though, if not something is wrong. It doesn't look like the stations are wrong right now, but it's still kind of the train issue that happens every time I add a mega module. But we have to think of it in terms of 400 signs per minute, which is quite a bit of material traffic, if you honestly think about it. I mean, let's just have a look at our lifetime stats here. The item we've produced the most are the copper cables at almost 500 million. And if we scroll further down a little bit to the science packs, we also already reached the 4 million mark of science packs production. So quite a bit has happened since we first started this world. Maybe let's also have a look at the milestones here so you can kind of get a grasp of the time invested into each of these milestones. So we're still working on the science packs, the 10 million milestone. So that's going to be fairly interesting. Okay, I've been setting up some more defenses the past hour or so. It was actually getting really close. I think I will have to start putting some efficiency modules inside of my miners just to prevent the pollution from spreading this quickly. And this essentially means it's time to set up the inserters here for the efficiency modules as well. And that should then take care of this issue. They're actually already here, so they are being crafted right away. Okay, now we could speed this up even more, but I don't think we necessarily have the materials for this. And right now it seems to be quick enough. So what I'm gonna do instead is show you what happened the past hour or so in terms of science. And will you look at that, we reached the 2000 science per minute mark. So I think I will wrap this up as a short episode. In the next episode, we will be researching the turret range, the artillery range in the beginning. And this might actually have some quirky results depending on how many aliens are attacking us. But with that out of the way, the factory must grow. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great time and see you in the next one. Bye bye.